Uh, obviously, you guys are going to have to win one here in Phoenix if you're going to if you're going to win this thing. What do you guys need to do differently from the first two games? Just lock in from the beginning. Uh, they generally we just you know real small things, a lot of small things throughout the game. Um, whether it be shifts, whether it be uh, our initial uh, coverage on, on certain plays, just being able to lock in and grow from the first two games from the mistakes we made. Uh, you've seen Drew guard Chris Paul, you know, full court. Uh, I think Drew joked after the last game how tired he was. Um, you've guarded Chris Paul before. Just how physically taxing is, is what Drew's doing out there? It's hard to play that hard for an entire game or anybody in this league at this, at this level, guarding <laughs> every player in this game. Everybody's running the floor, everybody's crashing, everybody's doing all they can, fighting tooth and nail, you know, for every advantage to try to win the game. So, um, you know, for Drew, it's just part of what he does and makes, you know, that's why he's so good. Over to Devon on Zoom. All right, we'll go to Lori Nickel. Hey, PJ, I wanted to ask you about the three-point shot. The Suns have kept you guys to below 30% shooting in game two and game four as a team. I wondered when you decide to back off and when you decide to keep fighting or firing anyway. I know you personally seem to wait for your open shot, you, you know, what's extra passing. But as a team, what's the philosophy there? Rule, you, you open, let it fly. That's just the general rule of how we play. Um, you know, you try to give up good shots for great shots, for, you know, swing swings, extra passes. But, you know, that's just, that's how we play. If you open, you let it fly, no matter what. So there's no discussion about being conservative during timeouts or anything like that? Nah, you don't worry about numbers? I don't, I don't know any team that does that. <laughs> if you open this league, you got to let it fly because there's no open shots. You got to take them. <laughs> Let's go to Leonardo Torres. Hi, PJ. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. PJ, what will be the mindset for Game 5 and how important will it be to take care of the ball in order to win Game 5? That's always a high priority, um, taking care of the ball. Uh, we, move, we want to move the ball, we want to attack, but at the same time, you want to take care of it. Uh, you know, We don't want to give up transition points and easy baskets for them, so... Um, that's definitely high up on the list of things that uh, you know, we prioritize in, in order to give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go to Eduardo Vidal. Hey, PJ, Eduardo Vidal from Hispanic Sports Media. Do you think one of the keys that, that allowed you to tie the series was playing more minutes with a small lineup? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it works sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work as well. Um, you know, it's just on coach trying to figure that out and at what points in the game he wants to do it. Um, I think it's giving us a chance, uh, you know, to give a different look and to be able to do different things uh, scheme-wise on defense. But, uh, you know, it's something you just got to keep trying to figure out throughout the game. All right, with our final question, let's go to JC from Lagura. Hey, PJ, going through your career, do you feel like – this series is the toughest series that you ever face. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's tough. Obviously, we fighting. Uh, we just won Game Seven with Brooklyn down to the last second. So, I don't know if it's safe to say that, but that's you know, a tough series. Thanks, PJ. Uh,